Hello fellow KDP wizards and I guess well, actually that sounds really weird. Call them witches. Either way, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going through a step-by-step -step process of how you can make your very own no and low content book for Amazon KDP entirely from scratch. As I said, because this is from scratch, it's going to be a slightly longer video um, than I usually upload on this channel. So I'm going to try and cut out as much as I can to make it as efficient as possible. But we're going to be going through step by step showing you exactly how you can make your very own low and no content book. So I'm going to jump into the first step now and I will see you over there. So the first thing generally you'll do when making a book is do a little bit of niche research. Now, in my opinion, no content for no content publishing. Niche research isn't hugely important. That's much more important, in my opinion, for low and medium content publishing. But you do still need to make sure your book is in demand and not too competitive. So the best way I like to start by doing this is just typing in funny notebook and just search for that. And lots of these different ideas, you can kind of de uh, dive a little bit deeper um, into these as you go through. So let's just take this as an example. So you've got one here that says, um, I love lists. Basically you could type in list notebook and just dive deeper and deeper until you find a niche that has good enough demand and also has um, a low competition. Demand basically can be uh, judged by if the suggestion for the keyword comes up in the Amazon search bar. And then competition is generally this number here. Anything under kind of 20,000 for no content publishing, I would generally consider to be not too much competition. Obviously the lower the better, but they're kind of two metrics you wanna be looking at when doing some niche research. I've actually done some niche research off camera. So I've found the uh, niche of millionaire uh, notebook as a good niche to go into as you can see it comes down as a suggestion in the Amazon search bar which shows that people are searching for it which is definitely good news for us so just click into millionaire notebook what you can see here there's some really basic kind of um, book covers here this one's quite good that's quite smart I quite like that one as you can see it's selling well 378,000 in books which for a notebook in my opinion is quite good but the kind of niche and target audience we're looking for is kind of hustlers or people that want to become millionaires and they're kind of into this like online grind of trying to make money so maybe they want a book that people not just a notebook but also things that they can kind of write down their to-do list and basically help them step by step to become a millionaire nothing too drastic but just kind of a basic interior to help them do that along with a book a good book cover and kind of a good way you can kind of make a, uh, a successful no content book is combining successful niches so for this example here the niche of a millionaire notebook is what we're going to be doing also, these are really good designs for notebooks, loading notebooks. So you can see here, people just do basically some sort of job with a loading bar, uh, sarcasm, now loading. That's a really successful kind of product type in KDP. But we're actually gonna do a millionaire loading book. So we're gonna combine two different niches, which in my opinion is a really good way of doing your no content kind of niche research. And at the moment, you've got this one here. It's obviously a paid ad. Really, really poor quality book and at eight pound fifty. That's not any worry in terms of competition for us because it's just a terrible book. Um, but there isn't really anything else here that's going to be com uh, competing against us apart from the general millionaire book. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And the first thing I'm going to do is make a book cover for my books. So I'm going to jump over to Canva now, and I'll see you over there. So now we're in Canva, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is make sure we get the right dimensions for our book cover. And luckily, KDP have their very own uh, KDP book cover calculator based on some numbers that you put in. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So if you just go to kdp.amazon.com slash cover calculator, it will take you to this page and it will give you absolutely everything that you need. So the first thing you need to do is select your binding type. We're going to go for paperback. Interior type, we're going to go for a black and white interior. Paper color, we're going to go for white. Page turn direction basically means the, uh, the direction in which you read the book. So for, gem for the vast majority of books, it will be left to right. Measurement units, we're gonna go for inches. And then our interior trim size, we're gonna go for 8.5 by 11 inches. So this is gonna be therefore an A4 notebook. And we're gonna go for page count, just for the example. We're gonna go for 120 pages from this page count. So just press calculate dimensions. And what that would do is it show exactly the size our cover needs to be in KDP in order for it to upload successfully. So our width needs to be 17. 0.52 inches with 11.25 as our height. So just gonna jump over to Canva now and you go to this resize button up here, put your width in as 17.52, and then our height of 11.25. Let's just double check that's what we're going for. 11.25, 17.52. And I just press resize and that will automatically resize our canvas to the exact size we want it to be for our book cover. You then want to go back into the cover calculator page and just press download template and what that's going to do it's going to download a template as a zip file so i'm going to go ahead and um, extract that now and put it into my uh, canva file and i'll see once i've done that 
So I've just uploaded that file and what that's going to do is put that right in the middle of my canvas. Generally what you can do is either drag and drop it into your Canva page or just press this uploads button here and upload it manually. It's entirely up to you. It doesn't really make too much difference. But what you want to do with this is then drag this up to the top left corner there just so it fits right in the corner and drag this all the way down to the opposite side just so this covers your entire page. And what that does is covers our entire canvas here so we know exactly where each element sits on our front and back cover. I'm just gonna move my camera down here and then just press this lock button. So this is locked in place now, it's not gonna move at all. I'm gonna move myself back up there. So now we have our front cover here, our back cover here, our barcode and our spine. We know where all the elements of our book need to sit. So I'm actually gonna go ahead now and make the front and back cover off camera. It can take a little bit of time. So I wanted to make this as efficient as possible in terms of a tutorial. So I don't want you to have to come and watch me do all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it now and I'll see you in just a sec once I've made the front and back cover where I'll talk about it all and why I've done certain things that I have done. So I'm back and I've made our front cover. I have purposely left the back cover blank and you'll see exactly why in just a uh, second once I go through the rest of the video. But you can see from the front, nothing too kind of groundbreaking, a relatively basic front cover, but kind of ticks the boxes of what I want it to do. It shows that it's a daily planner. Actually going through and making this book, I've realized it's probably better to be a low content book rather than a no content. I will show you exactly how you can make this a no content if you wanted to, because that's kind of what I said the video would be about. But I did think this book was more better served to be a low content book. So I'm gonna show you both how to make this a no content and a low content. So it's be I guess it's bonus content for you here. So basically we just got daily planner here, millionaire loading, and then a motivational quote saying 1% better every day. Because that's something that's gonna really resonate with our target audience. It's a very known kind of motivational phrase and kind of hustle culture. So that's hopefully gonna do well for our front cover. In terms of the back cover, what we're gonna do is put an example of the interior on the back cover. Because for those of you that don't know, when you search on Amazon on your phone, you don't get the opportunity to see the look inside feature. So unless you have examples of your interior on your back cover, you're not actually gonna be able to see what the inside of a book is. So that's very good for increasing your book's conversion rate. So we're gonna put uh, our interior on the back here. And like I say, we're gonna opt for a low content interior because basically what I found on Creative Fabrica, for those of you who don't have Creative Fabrica, I would massively recommend getting it. At the current moment, they actually have a really good sale on, where it's only £3.99 a month. I think before that I was paying something like £19 a month and it was still massively worth it for me. So do go ahead and purchase Creative Fabrica. I will leave a link in the description below if you wanna go ahead and do that. But this is a daily planner here that I could just press download and use as, uh, basically as much as I want. It's 120 pages and 8.5 by 11 inches as a really good low content kind of interior that we can use for this book. Because basically what it does, it shows you your top goals. It kind of shows you how you can plan your day and basically just prioritizes your life to make you as efficient as possible, which is definitely going to resonate with these people who are wanting to obviously become millionaires and hustle and be successful with their entrepreneurial endeavors. So that's a really good interior and why I kind of thought it was better to go for that interior than I thought it would be to go for um, a no content interior. If you did want to go for a no content interior, you can just go to bookbolt.io, go to resources and then just go to uh, interior wizard. And you can see here they have loads of different interiors for you. If you just want it to be like a lined uh, piece of paper, just press college ruled, go for bleed, because obviously this is gonna be bleeding into the spine, and then choose paperback 8.5 by 11, and then as many pages as you want, press download, and that's gonna download the file for you. So it's simple as that to make a no content book. No content is even more simple than low content, but for this example, as I've said, I wanted to make a low content example because it's a little bit more different and also shows you an extra level of depth if you wanna be successful with KDP. So I'm gonna go for this front cover, I'm going to come back in just a second and put the interior on our back cover and then we'll go ahead to the actual book launch and I can show you how you can optimize and list your book to maximize sales. So as you can see, I've dropped the interior on the back of the book. You have to remember that the barcode is going to sit somewhere about here. But what the person can see now when they browse on Amazon, they can see exactly what's going to be on the interior of the book. So you can see today's top goals, to-do list, things to remember, plans and schedules, the date, the day, mood, lots of different things they can do. And it's going to be really useful for them to be able to see that on the back of the book rather than having to go on their computer or their website and look at the look inside feature there because as I said, it's not apparent on the app. So definitely a really good tip would be to include any interior images on the back of your no and low content books just to give the reader a little bit more information about what the book actually is involved. So if you don't want to go ahead and purchase Creative Fabrica, completely understand that. You can make your very own design um, just in Canva. Just put a box here and then just make whatever interior you like through lots of different elements and different shapes. Basically have a play around, you can kind of do what you want. So if you wanted to make kind of a, um, a box to put your book around, just use these purple guidelines in the, in the Canva um, file to kind of guide you around. And basically there, make this a black box. 
and then put whatever interior you want. So you could put lines in here if you want to make a no content book or just be very creative with your interior. If you want to go the extra mile, make a very unique interior that no one else has done or that you can make on Creative Fabrica because that's going to give you a massive advantage over your competition. So if you don't want to go ahead and purchase Creative Fabrica, absolutely no problem. You can use it for inspirations. So you can still search for things like this and then just try and recreate this yourself in Canva. But like I say, at the moment, it's super, super cheap to get Creative Fabrica and is definitely worth doing. So please do check the link in the description if you want to go ahead and purchase Creative Fabrica. It's something I use all of the time. So now we've got our front cover and our back cover and our interior sorted. What I'm going to do now is jump over to the KDP upload page and show you exactly how I would go through step by step uploading this book to hopefully maximize sales as much as possible. I have also just realized I forgot to mention how to actually download it. I'm assuming most of you already know how to do it, but if you don't, just press this share button up here and then just press download and then just choose PDF print and then press download here and the interior will download for you. So you can see here we are now in the back end of KDP as we upload our book. I filled in all the information for our book listing and I'm going to talk you through step by step now why I've included certain things. So you can see the book title here, I've just called it Millionaire Loading. It's obviously worth remembering with KDP, your book title actually has to appear on the front of the book. So it's relatively difficult to get SEO driving book titles for no and low content publishing. So I've just called it Millionaire Loading and then used our subtitle to drive SEO with certain keywords. So I've put in the subtitle Daily Planner with Affirmations for Your Road to Success. Daily Planner in itself is a keyword. Yes, it's very competitive, but it's definitely good to have in there because it increases your book's reach. Daily Planner with Affirmations in itself is a long tail keyword. So that's also really good, really good reach and also quite specific. So there'll be less competition with that. And also the word success is really common when you twin it with the uh, word affirmation. So they're two really good keyword combinations to have in. So as you can see, I've dropped a few keywords in there to help my book SEO in the subtitle, but nothing too drastic. Again, I say all the time, please don't keyword spam your title or your subtitle because it just looks unprofessional. Leave the spamming to the seven keyword boxes at the bottom. As you can see here then, I've just called the uh, the publisher name or the pen name, uh, Tumble Publishing. Completely honest, just the first thing that came to my head, nothing too scientific about that. And the description, I've kind of kept it very uh, simple. In my opinion, no and low content publishing doesn't require that detailed of a description, just something very basic like this. So I've just said being success is a matter um, or discipline, that's meant to say matter of discipline and organization. Just kind of an introductory kind of thing to get people motivated. The steady planner will allow you to be accountable of to stay accountable of your actions, plan your day, and set up to achieve set you up to achieve your goals. Very very basic stuff, basically outlining what it can do for you, and then just said a few things that the book includes: so to do list, reflective tasks, hour by hour planning, and much more. Again, if you want to put more time into your description, then by all means go for it. But I've had some no and low content books. I've been really successful with poor descriptions. So again, I'm not saying make a rubbish description, but don't worry about spending too much time on it. I then pressed I own the copyright because obviously I do have just made the book and the keywords I'm going to talk you through my strategy here. So the first two boxes I've gone for specific um, phrases because for those of you that don't know if you put specific phrases in the keyword boxes um, an article by kindlepreneur.com if you want to go ahead and check them out then please do basically said that if you have the exact phrase in there you're more likely to rank for that specific phrase but if you just spam it with keywords you're less likely to rank for those keywords but obviously your reach is much higher so it's good to have a combination of the two. So the main two main keywords I found that are worth putting in here is planner for aspiring entrepreneurs, massively um, matches with our target audience, and then also loading notebook. This might seem like a weird keyword, but it is definitely one that people are searching for. So if people want a loading notebook, but they're not necessarily too sure what to do, they could put this in, mine might show up, and then they might go ahead and buy it if it also relates to them. And then just spam the final five boxes with um, different keywords are kind of related to the books of so business ideas, mindset, success, money. You kind of read through them yourself and see what I'm doing here as well. In terms of categories, I then just choose uh, chose, chosen personal success. Probably quite a niche category, but definitely relates to what we're doing. And then I've just pressed low content book because this is a low content book. It's um, classes as either a journal notebook or a planner. Obviously, it's a daily planner, so it counts as one of those. So just press that, and that basically just means you don't have to assign it an ISBN. Adult, can, adult content, obviously, no. So we're going to click that and no. And then just press save and continue and go into the next part, which is going to be a little bit more detail about the book. So I have already go, gone ahead and uploaded the contents of it, so it saves you a bit of time. But again, publish without ISBN. That's what we want because it's a low content book. We don't need an ISBN. Black and white interior with white paper. Trim size 8.5 by 11. And we've gone for no bleed. So for those of you that are a bit confused about what bleed means, 
Bleed base just means whether or not the book bleeds into the spine. So if you think a notebook or just lined pages, the lines actually bleed into the spine of the book and therefore you would want to have bleed PDF only. But because this is a daily planner and the interior doesn't necessarily bleed into the spine, there's actually a very distinct edge between the interior and the spine. We're gonna go for no bleed and then we're just gonna go for a matte finish. And I have just uploaded the interior here, so Daily Planner interior uploaded in terms of the manuscript, and also uploaded the front and back cover here. So once you've done that, I'm gonna. It takes a little bit of time, so that's why I've done it off camera. Just press Launch Previewer, and every time for those of you that don't know already, you have to go through and actually preview your book before you can properly upload it. And it's always good to see if your book kind of passes the quality check and if everything fits in place. So you can see here the front cover looks good, the back cover looks good, and on the interior it has a, a default welcome page and all of the interior sits nicely as you want it to. So just press approve, and once you've done that, you can go ahead and actually publish your book. Now you've actually looked through it and know that everything is correct. So the next stage is press save and continue. As you can see, it's gonna cost us $2.99 to print this book, which is actually really cheap. And then we're gonna go ahead and set our price. So again, this would kind of depend on what price your competition is at. If I'm doing a low content book like this, again, primary marketplace, Anything between .com and .co.uk, I don't think you can really go wrong. I'm from the UK, so I'm just gonna press .co.uk. Just press the list price now. Anything between kind of £4.99 and £6.99, I think is where you should kind of target um, to price your uh, low and no content books. So for this example, we're just gonna go for £5.99. Press this expanded distribution. I oh, know, sorry, we can't because the uh, book doesn't meet the criteria. And then just change all of these to have 99, just so it looks a little bit more professional when someone is going ahead uh, and buy the book. I'm not going to do this for this example because I'm not actually going to upload this book um, because I'm going to offer it to one of you guys. So if you follow me on Twitter, I will give you access to the front cover and also the interior of this book. Go through and follow me on Twitter. I will show you exactly how I'm going to give away this book so you can upload it and use it yourself for free. Um, so that's why I'm not going to go ahead and finish all of these and then upload it myself because I want to give it to one of you guys um, as a thank you for the support on the channel and also support on my Twitter. So that's essentially how you could go through step by step making a low slash no content book entirely from scratch. If you do have any questions about any of this, then please do drop them in the comments below or message me on Twitter either or either absolutely works absolutely fine. Um, and I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do leave a like and also subscribe to see more KDP content and I will see you in the next one.